Welcome Dragon Champions to another Dragon Law Gaming Presents Dragon Champions video. I am your host Dragon. Thank you so much for being here. Today we're going to talk about all the changes that have come to Dragon Champions over the last three weeks or so. I know I'm a little behind on this. Uh, if you are paying attention to the forums on Discord, you would know that we're going to be discussing the changes that have happened from March 25th of 2020 all the way up until yesterday's update. Uh, looking at the screen right now. Now, let's go ahead and talk about what we're doing here. Uh, in general, they have restored the first two payment bonuses uh, in the bank and tweaked the mechanics. Now the bonuses apply to all bank officers when purchasing the first time. And then they added the new bonus window for 3,000 drag coins, opening premium chests for the first time. As we talked about yesterday in my I'm Back video, we can see that this change has happened right here. If we go into premium chest, as you can see, I've already done this, but you can uh, just go ahead and click right here and you'll get 3,000 drag coins. Very, very worth doing uh, if you have the coins because you're just going to get them back and then some as well as if we're looking at the bank, each one of the first payment options are available for each one of the drag coin bonuses. So that's very, very nice as well uh they tweaked the golden chests as well as you can look here right now it's just one single drop the average gold drop was increased by 25 percent and then every subsequent opening of the chest during the same day and the rewards uh increased by five percent up to 50 percent so that's pretty awesome uh i have not seen i have not tried this or tested it out uh but it does look like it, it they've said that it has been an increase and so that is pretty awesome there um as we know, they uh, uh, they added the equip all button. As you see, we're on my main account here. So if we go to um, a character who is not fully equipped out now, we do have this equip all button here, right up here in the uh, top left hand corner of your character menu. And you can just click here. It says equip all items. You're about to uh, wear four items, which some of them are composite. This will take this much. And then you can just say no, or you can say yes, and it'll just equip all of them there. And so that is pretty awesome. I'm, a, I'm just really ecstatic about that. They've added ability scrolls uh, to tournaments, which is awesome. I know everybody's been seeing that. They also added a second character here so we can farm a little bit better. So we have now ability scrolls that we can purchase. Um, so if you're not done farming your characters out of there, you can get your ability scrolls um, through that window. Not too bad. And of course you can get gold and some of the higher end items as well, which we've had that for a while. Uh, special tournament offers, um, the special tournament offers, if we look at those right now, they're now adding um, the Aquamarines of action in those. So when you're buying these, you know, you get energy and tickets and you get actual, um, you know, currency out of the tournament shop which is really really nice um, so they've been tweaking that over the lifespan of the game uh, as well if you if I go over to my achievements right now you can see it launched the game for 181 days we've been playing the game for 181 days now uh, so that is awesome a full six months in a day. So that's pretty cool uh, The game is just I think getting better and better. I'm really excited about uh, the new game mode that they've teased um, And I'm wondering what that's going to be like um, To answer any questions already. No, I have not tested it. No, I have not seen it. Nobody. I don't think anybody has uh, But it's been it's it, it looks really really cool we have a new hero coming to the game as we already know Zara we talked about her just a little bit yesterday uh, she's pretty awesome I think that she's going to end up being pretty uh, meta defining she's going to help the orcs really combat Soleus um, obviously we have more doom coming down the road which he looks like he's going to also help uh, define the meta as well um, and so that, I think that she's really, really awesome. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just look through her abilities real fast with you. I am going to do uh, an in-depth character guide. So I'm not going to go, actually, I'm not going to go through all the abilities uh, right now because we are going to do an in-depth character guide on her. Um, and so go, go ahead and uh, we'll talk about her a little bit more in, a, in another video. They have made some changes to her um, over for a while so then let's talk about those a little bit some of the balance changes um, that have been made 
uh, with her, right? They tweaked her third ability, uh, which brought the cooldown originally. It was four and four. Now it's three or four. So it's a second turn ability where she can attack three enemies. Um, and then they made another small changes to her, um, to her kit as well for her leadership ability all enemies received tenacity and an armor decrease for one turn instead of two turns two turns was pretty brutal um one turn she makes her very viable um but two turns was just she was creaming soleus i think um that would be my guess uh but it didn't last very long um so that's kind of what was going on there and some other balance changes um that they uh that they made uh, here as well is that they when using Oasis shadow ability on, on auto battle Hera is going to choose the defender first which is good because you know she should be uh, fixed general Murdoch's uh, leadership ability now all, all goblins are going to get um, turn meter bonuses buffs dice throw ability now inflicts stun for one turn instead of two and then they uh, tweaked Renara's passive ability if Renara or her allies have two stacks of regeneration at the end of her turn she recovers 15% of her max health and 50% of her max shields their health is full after that she applies cheat death to them for two turns so they uh, changed her the way she works a little bit and then they wanted to give us a little update about the new game mode that we we're all waiting for. Um, she, they say, even though the times are tough in the world, our team is working hard on it to make sure that we are delivering new content for you to enjoy. Just as you, we can't wait to play it. Soon we'll be posting new information, including concept, uh, basic rules, etc. Uh, we're also happy to announce that we are planning some uh, to do some play testing of the game mode. So if you're an experienced ch uh, champion, stay tuned to the channel. So make sure you're on uh, the Dragon Champion champions discord uh it is in the game i'll show you exactly where that is uh if you just go over here to extras or go to general community right here uh you hit the little discord button or the reddit right discord button and you'll be right there um right there and you'll be able to uh see what you can do about maybe getting into testing this out uh, and so they went ahead and on 4.2, we had another uh, patch that came through that changed things a little bit. Uh, so they added a new kinds of events that will be consistent with smaller events. Uh, um, similar to the common events, this event, uh, you will get Rise of the Unseen, Hero Tokens, and other valuable rewards for logging into the game and spending resources. Uh, that actually did happen. We have those kind of right now. So like the Mighty Frost Mage event, as you can see, where you can spend drag coins and get... Um, you can get a lot of a lot of uh, shards of freeze art. In fact, you see if you look here, you get 30 shards plus 27, 24, 21. I mean, if you buy the hundred dollar bundle, you're gonna get a ton of shards of him, and of course, you're gonna end up spending those drag coins too, and you're gonna get another just a ton of shards. I mean, you're gonna be able to level him up or get him up pretty quick if you were to take advantage of those offers. Uh, we, of course, have the training time bonuses, and then we have the treasury. These are new ones as well, where we're getting, you know, when you spend your drag coins, you're getting, uh, here you're getting energy, all right, uh, you're getting premium uh, chests and that sort of stuff, and then you're getting daily login rewards just for logging into the game every day. Uh, so those are really, really nice as well. Uh, that they've come in, and then we have some of these, you know, we're still having our... Uh, you know treasure hunts and uh, a regular occurring um, rune uh, blue runes as well so very very cool very very cool I think it gives us a little bit more to do in the game gives us some more stuff uh, each daily energy quest now last uh, until the next one is generated instead of two, two hours before. That is awesome. So there's a lot of people, you know, it's hard to get logged into the game. I know with me sometimes at night I will miss one because we're doing dinner or we're doing something with the family. And I just I don't want to always have my phone on me. Uh, and so I know I've missed that. That is that is a great change that's really helped me out. Not missing energy. Made a little change to the rune shop. Now you can tap any rune there for information. A window will appear where you can learn about the rune and then decide whether to purchase it or not that's pretty awesome uh if we go into the shop we can look at that as well see it just we just click on it there and it just tells us what's going on so as you can see the runes in my shop are not particularly great at the moment um, but that's what we currently have going on and then they moved the red marker for the 10 premium chance and tweaked it now appears once a day 
uh, bug fixes. So they fix some bugs here, fix uh, hero upgrade offers. Now they gener uh, gener are generated properly. If you missed a recent unlock, uh, hero upgrade this offer will uh, uh, will be generated for uh, you uh, again later, which will be awesome. Fix golden check freezes, uh, that, that golden chest freezes. Already in the game, they fixed uh, Zara's uh, enraged battle leadership ability, uh, and then they fixed some lag in the tournaments. Fix Zara's scaling in the lobby now shows her proper height um, and might, and then fix Slingers and Lake's leadership abilities that no longer. Uh, are active once they're defeated, which is good because of leaderships, from my understanding, stay active. Uh, balance changes already in the game. Her leadership, once again, uh, Zara's leadership is fixed. Uh, tweaked more Doom's abilities. Uh, changes available with the update. Uh, his first ability deals 290% damage to an enemy, removes two buffs. And then his magic monster's ability, second one is now 4 4 instead of 0 3, and he summons two henchmen uh, with a 50% of uh, more doom's health and 80 percent of his damage and then his third ability is three four now uh instead of three five and it deals two four hundred and eighty magic damage instead of 400 to an enemy and inflicts armor decrease tenacity decrease slow damage decrease po potency decrease and ability block for three turns now he looks like he's a 330 unlock that he <laughs> he's got some really really interesting uh mechanics coming out there let's take a look at him real quick he is got some crazy stuff and as you can see we're we're looking at his abilities now as they have been changed in the game you know so being able to summon these uh, monsters these little demons that show up uh, first turn that's probably going to be pretty dang powerful and then of course a third turn a third or second turn uh rock curse uh with being able just to just ability block someone i mean that's pretty it's pretty awesome with a lot of damage and of course his his passive you know gains 10 percent tenacity and 10 percent potency for each living demon in the party so he's got a lot of demon synergy uh which is gonna be pretty good i think uh he's gonna be pretty awesome i believe and then we had some more there were some crashes that were happening and we had to download we had some extra things and they were taking care of that awesome awesome um they had um they fixed uh, zara's leadership on defense um and then there was some crashing that was happening uh when equipment was when people were trying to equip all to a hero so they fixed that as well and then on four six they had another little tiny update where they increased lake's base um shield by 15 percent and ren the unseen base shield by 30 percent um so they made these characters a little less flimsy on the shields um and then fan of blades the second ability um the cooldown was changed to three four and deals 150 percent physical damage to all enemies if this ability kills an enemy it, it cool the cooldown instantly and recovers 50 percent of ren's unseen's turn meter so that's really really good and then <clears throat> excuse me also on ren reflex strikes third abilities cooldown now is 4-4 gains counter attack and damage increase for two turns and recovers 15 uh 50 percent of, of of ren the unseen's turn meter so very similar ability to um some of the other characters in the game one that, you know that i'm thinking about uh most is uh, ooh, what is his name he just keeps just fell out of my head snorry so very very interesting for snorri there so uh the last announcements they rolled out a little ninja patch that added one extra day of ren the unseen so we all get a little bit more rewards that was on four seven and then just two days ago they had a or yesterday there was a big patch and in this patch they they said you know they hope we had a great easter weekend uh they're going to release a small patch uh, where we started implementing upgrades to the graphics um and then they changed a few things we have a new hero named selena or as i like to call her female harry potter so we're going to pull her up um a female harry potter here uh she is a healer she's uh, also she's an order human healer and traveler she's available in special offer special events premium chests and from campaign 
uh, from the campaign Rage 5-9, um, and she has pretty interesting abilities, 200% of magic damage to an enemy, and a 70% chance to inflict tenacity decrease for two turns, um, and then she her she has a second ability, which is has a cooldown of 2-3, heals the target by 200% or 280% of her magic damage, so let's pull that up here, um, and then an extra 20% of their max health, um, and then if we look at her next uh, one, Ammo's Mirror heals all allies by 400% of her magic damage, and if the allies are inflicted by debuffs, she applies ran uh, two random opposite buffs of the same duration. And so that's an interesting ability as well. Um, I'm not going to really go over too much of it, um, but and then she gets uh, her passive ability. She copies two random buffs from the enemy at the end of turn and applies them to random allies for the same duration. So that is interesting as well. Um, I would do an in-depth character guide uh, review on her. Uh, where we'll talk about her and how things go with her here in a little bit. Last thing uh, that we have is their runic, the runic journey finally got an exciting new storyline. They introduced brand new visuals as well to the dialogue. So if you're going through, uh, you're going to be able to see their the characters are up on the screen now. So uh, that's kind of that's kind of cool. Uh, now the heroes actually appear in the locations where they the action is taking place, and then they started implementing some graphics changes as well and so that's all pretty interesting stuff uh if you are new around here uh hit that like button if you like the video at any time hit that subscribe button hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing and we'll see you next time wing gaming and the law intersect